SureCount version 4 has just taken on-screen digital takeoffs to a whole new level. Now that SureCount version 4 and IntelliBit version 7 are fully integrated, performing a takeoff from your digital drawing has just been made quicker and easier. Whether you are taking off fixtures, devices, fire alarm, low voltage data cabling, HVAC and more, simply import the digital drawings into SureCount. You do the takeoff and measuring and then send it straight over to IntelliBid, complete with all the takeoff material. To begin with, creating a new job estimate has been made easier. You can now create a new job in SureCount or IntelliBid, whichever is more convenient for you. The jobs that have been created in IntelliBid are listed to the right. You can select a job that will be activated in SureCount and the connection is made. Now, let's take a look at SureCount version 4 and the direct takeoff. I've already loaded a drawing and captured all but one fixture symbol on the drawing. Let me show you how easy it is to capture a symbol. Let's zoom in closer for a good view of the drawing. I could use the zoom tool from the toolbar or go directly to the zoom percentage from the drop down menu. That'll work. Now from the top toolbar I'll select the create symbol tool. With the crosshairs positioned at one corner of a fixture A, hold down the left mouse button and drag across to the opposite corner. Then let it go. A create symbol dialog box opens. I'll enter a symbol ID of A and we'll identify it as a 2 by 4 lay-in. Click the tab key. This will move the cursor to the description box below. SureCount automatically populates the description with the symbol ID saving me some time. Of course, I could type whatever I'd like in the description box. The lower left corner can be used for unit pricing. However, since I have IntelliBid, I don't have to worry about unit pricing because all that information for material and labor is contained within IntelliBid. But if I wanted to, I can use the unit pricing here for printing out detailed reports right from SureCount. The specifications for manufacturer, catalog numbers, and notes are informational and for printed reports within SureCount. Now the symbol that I captured is represented here with this small image. The tolerance level is an adjustment used to help match the symbol that was captured to the symbols located on the drawing. Think of it as a, um, a tuner on your radio. You set the tuning knob one way or the other to find the perfect frequency of that radio station. The same goes for the tolerance level. It fine-tunes the way SureCount matches the captured symbol with the drawing. Pixel for pixel. Next, we can choose from the color palette which color we'd like the symbol to be marked on the drawing. Now, one more important step. This is where SureCount gets even better. The takeoff list. When this button is activated, it launches a large dialog box that resembles the takeoff section within IntelliBid. Simply choose an appropriate assembly from the many libraries within IntelliBid. I'll select the fixture assembly with branch wiring. The construction is T-bar, bar joist with half inch EMT. The fixture itself is a two lamp, two by four lay in on T-bar with number 12 wire. Below are the fixture whips, couplings, and connectors. Also on the right, are the prompt values for mounting heights, fixtures per box, wires in a pole. All these selections below were pre-selected back in IntelliBid using job spec. This allows me to save time here in SureCount. Now that my fixture assembly has been chosen, I'll click the close button and click the save button below. The fixture symbol is now located here on the right side in the list of the other fixture symbols. Once all the fixture symbols have been created, I can now use SureCount to count all the fixtures on the drawing. Now let me zoom out the drawing so that we can see more of the floor plan. Well that should do it. Next, we'll need to draw a big red square around the entire floor plan. At the top toolbar, I'll click on the Select Area tool. Beginning at any of the four corners, position the crosshairs on a corner. Left click and drag the red square to the opposite corner and then let it go. This will tell SureCount to count everything inside this red square. Okay, at the top right, I'll click on the Select All Symbols button. 
to activate all the symbols to be counted. Then I'll click on the Auto Count button just to the right. Sure Count will now scan the entire drawing matching up all the fixture symbols that we created to the fixtures on the drawing. This process typically takes uh, anywhere from 15 to 25, maybe 30 seconds, depending on the size of the drawing and the amount of the symbols that need to be counted. There we are, a quick symbol count of the drawing. Looking over at the right, we can see the fixture counts that sure count arrived at. The count totals that are in red are the counts that are ready to get exported into IntelliBit version 7. So let's do that. At the top of the screen, there is an export button from SureCount to IntelliBid. And just to the right is a phase tree indicator that lets me know that these fixtures are being exported to IntelliBid in Building 101 on the first floor. Perfect. We'll take off the selected fixture group to that location in the phase tree. That's it. Let's open IntelliBid and see what happened to our fixtures. The phase is set to fixtures. Good. I'll set Subphase to Building 101 and Sublevel to First Floor. Excellent. There, there are all our fixtures that we captured and counted back in SureCount. As we can see, all the fixtures come complete with the material that we need to get them installed, as well as the hours of labor to install them. Now, how fast and simple was that process? Let me now show you how easy it is to measure some branch wiring. Now I've already performed some of the branch wiring for this drawing, but I left one for this demonstration. At the top of the screen on the toolbar, I'll click on the Branch Measurement Tool. The measurement ID will be Remote Panel 2, 33, 35, 37, and 39. The balance of the information below is for informational purposes, such as printing detailed reports on the branch wiring. Here is what it looks like when it's complete. I'll select a color for this run, but since the other branch wiring for this panel is red, I might as well stay with red. Before I click on the Save button, I'll need to click on the Take Off List button. In the Take Off List dialog box, I'll change the item library from Fixtures to branch. There are many construction styles listed below. I'll select Concealed T-Bar Ceiling and EMT Mounted on Top of T-Bar. There are various pipe sizes. I'll select 3 quarter inch EMT filled with number 12 wire mounted on top of T-Bar. There's the assembly and below are the pre-selected couplings and connectors. On the right the prompts seem to be missing a couple of values. Pipe length. Well, I'll measure that run in a minute, and when I'm finished with the measurement, SureCount will place that final number right here for me. The other prompt is for the number of segments. Every time I add a segment to a particular pipe run, SureCount will add two extra connectors to the run at this prompt. I don't know how many segments I may need in this run, if I need any at all, so we'll leave that one at zero as well. I'm finished with the takeoff. So I'll click the Close button. SureCount pops up an information box indicating to me that I have not entered value for all the prompts. Then SureCount asks if I want to enter values for those zeros. I'll click No because I'm comfortable with those zero values for right now. Now I'll click Save at the bottom. I'll select the branch. With the crosshairs, I'll begin at the panel RP2. I'll left click the mouse, come out to the hallway and left click again. Straight over to the left and I'll left click again. Then up to the junction box and I'll left click. At the junction box, I'll right click the mouse, select a junction box from the list, I'll right click the mouse again and add a segment. Then come straight down at the bend and I'll right click again and add an elbow. Over to the right, I'll right click again and add a field bend. At the top of the panel, I will right click and add another elbow. I'm just about finished. I need to run a vertical piece of pipe down from the ceiling to the panel. This vertical run is called a cave factor. I'll now right click and add a 10 foot piece of pipe here with the cave factor. 
Now that I've completed the branch circuit and added all my components, I'll right click and break the measurement telling SureCount that this run is complete. And there it is on the right side. Now that all the branch measurements are complete, I'll go back to the top and click on the Export to IntelliBit button. Then I'll select Take Off Selected Group. OK. Now let's bring up IntelliBit. At the top, on the Phase drop-down menu, I'll select Branch Phase. And there's the branch wiring, along with all the components and the labor to get it installed. Think about it. I went from digital drawings to complete takeoff in much less time than conventional methods. SureCount version 4 is the most powerful and easy to use digital on-screen takeoff available. And when coupled with IntelliBit version 7, is unmatched in every way to the versatility, the power and accuracy that you've come to expect from Conest software systems.